NVIDIA settings. Now, it's something that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of creators have covered probably already this season, chapter five, season two of Fortnite, but my video is simply better. Sadly, it's better. I'm just, I'm not being egotistical here. Um, I'm going to show you some settings that they're not talking about, and I'm going to make it very straightforward for you guys. Now, I've done the whole, my whole round of like explaining how this stuff works and giving you insight in each individual setting, and now it'll boost your FPS. But today, I'm going to be very straightforward. I think that's how most of my videos are going to be from now on. Just straightforward to the point. If you want the insight, go to my old videos but basically i've optimized these settings my nvidia control panel settings for five plus years now and these are the absolute best they're tailored for this season they're tailored for fortnite tailored for actually gaming as a whole they're very good holistically and they're amazing so we're gonna go through them to big myself up anymore but i just image settings a preview first step i'm sure you all know this you want to click use my preference emphasizing drag this down to performance press apply then go up to this option the second one use it advanced 3d image settings and press take me there now i'm going to show you these settings you can just copy them i'll go through some pretty basic things just so you guys are not alarmed any anti-aliasing stuff or any anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering have it off here but down here where it's in texture filtering these are two different things you want to have these allow high performance and some of these will be turned on so don't get confused by that it's intentional these are very different and this just basically measures and controls how your game kind of renders textures opposed to just renders graphics in the whole game as a whole which is like this wider thing it's very ambiguous i can't give you the full reasoning for it but yeah it's gonna help pretty much just copy everything low latency mode it's one that is quite controversial don't be alarmed i'm just gonna make a quick interjection and show you guys some useful information lots of you have been asking how i lower my ping i recently went from an average of 150 i don't know why but my ping has been awful this season to 50 ping and that is a huge decrease in ping in which i owe all to gear up booster a ping reducer a lot of pros are using such as asian jeff mero face sway and a ton of others so it's totally not bannable you can download the software for free on both windows and mobile and get latency free gameplay so if you normally have 100 plus ping for example this will give you 50 and literally half it It did even more than that for me i'll show my before and after in a second for people who suffer with bad network infrastructure you can switch servers and regions for easier raids it generally makes network connection stable so you never jump from 50 to 200 ping for example it's very very easy to use in just one click your entire game will be boosted and even if you're not in a membership for this program you're allowed to submit any complaints and they'll update you in 12 hours so the support team is great as you can see it's incredible you can grab this in the link in the description and for all you console users out there no worries they also have a game router with hyperrev hyperrev is a next generation professional game acceleration router that supports acceleration for not only mainstream consoles like playstation switch and xbox but also emerging gaming platforms such as steam deck oculus quest 2 and Pico. We aim to deliver cutting edge and exceptional gaming optimization experience for gamers across all platforms. Experience a significant visual enhancement in download speed with the HyperRev Game Acceleration Router. Never set this to ultra. Anyone who tells you to do that, they're lying to you. It's going to actually mess up your PC. Not many people have the hardware to manage this and for it to just work in general. Maybe if you're on like a 40 series, fair enough. But any otherwise, you want to have this on on or off. I would say for low end PCs, have it off. If you have a mid to high tier PC or anything like a 30 series or above or a 20 series with a really good CPU because Fortnite is CPU intensive, I would have this turned on. Any otherwise, anything lower than that, have it off. But you can try it out. It's... Again, I know you guys don't like hearing that. I, I don't personally, but you are going to have to test some things out. It's subjective. Everyone's PCs are very particular in terms of their specs. Like not many people have the exact same specs unless you bought a pre-built, which again is totally fine. I applaud my pre-built brothers as long as you're buying them from a good place like NZXT and not Best Buy where, you know, they're going to cheap out on some other parts, you know, uh, another hardware post like, you know, that have a flashy graphics card, a flashy CPU and everything else is just bad. You want to have, you know, optimal airflow. I've actually recently took my side case off my PC for airflow and I've maxed out all my fans and really done a few BIOS optimizations. So let me know down below if you guys want them. They're very simple and it's improved my performance tremendously. Went on a bit of a tangent there, but yeah. So low latency mode, have it on on. Trying to keep this video simple as I mentioned. Power management mode, of course. Prefer maximum performance. OpenGL rendering. GPU, you want to have this set to your GPU. Threaded optimization. If you have a laptop or again a low end PC, you probably want this off and otherwise have it on. Anything more than eight cores basically on your CPU. And the rest, Vulkan, OpenGL, don't be scared about it. 
just have on auto. It won't really affect Fortnite at all. And these are global settings. You can alter things for Fortnite. So some people actually would have their, where is this? Preferred power management mode set to like normal, for example. And then in their program settings for Fortnite, they'll change it to perform maximum. And then they'll do that for literally every single game. So their GPU can idle. Uh, it's up to you. It will prolong the life of your GPU, but a lot of people don't really care about that, honestly. Um, and idling your GPU can have some downsides sometimes if it doesn't get out of idle. Like it can just kind of mess up your game at points. So I wouldn't really worry about it. And some people also don't use threaded optimization on their entire PC. Like even if they use it in Fortnite, they'll have it off for like browsing and other GPU related activities, like uh, video editing, for example. Now moving on, if you go to desktop and enable developer settings, you will get this option and also this developer tab here. So sometimes this won't show about developer, but it may actually still be there for you. But basically, yeah, check your processor, not to your processor. Set it to, because if you set it to CPU, Fortnite is again already CPU intensive. So it's using a lot of CPU and you want your GPU to do some work as well. And it gives you basically your CPU more time to breathe um, or more room to breathe. So set this to your GPU and then your managed GPU performance counters. Set it to allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. Basically, this just ensures that your GPU will work at its best on your PC for every user on your PC. Otherwise, this could kind of mess up. And if you have like multiple accounts on your PC, multiple users, it could just bug. And then on like one user or like one profile, you're just not getting the most out of your GPU. And then you're just losing frames pretty much. Now, some important things would be your desktop color settings. A lot of people don't talk about this, but I would definitely optimize them and copy mine. My digital vibrance is set to 62, which is higher than the default range, which is actually 50. But this is because Fortnite is quite, uh, you know, dark this season. Like the black points really high. The contrast is really high and it's just quite a dull looking season. So I like to boost up my colors here. This is also client side, so it won't show on applications like OBS and other like screen share, for example, on Discord. But moving on, size and position, unless you're using a stretch resolution or any resolution other than your native monitors resolution, set this to no scaling and perform scaling on your display if you have the option. Now, a lot of you guys will have uh, monitors that don't support display scaling. So yeah, you want to have that set to, for example, this one, have it on GPU. This isn't my main monitor, it's my second, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and it's actually 144 hertz and doesn't have display scaling. That's an issue. I would look to, you know, upgrade your monitor in the future, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it too much. But if you do, definitely perform that on your display because what it'll do is it'll give you lower latency and basically just make sure your refresh rate is your actual refresh rate and, you know, it's one-to-one. -one. Everything else, kind of good. I'll have this override scaling mode set by programs and games because sometimes Fortnite will like throw you out of no scaling and put you into full screen, which will give you delay or input lag. And now finally moving on to adjust video color settings, which no one really actually mentions. These are very important. You can ignore color, ignore gamma, make sure you're also using the NVIDIA settings here. So the second option, but go to advanced and set this to full. This will basically make your monitor as accurate as possible. And then it allows you to go into Fortnite directly and then kind of just manage, you know, how the game looks on the actual game. And you're getting like the most realistic version of it, I guess. Like if you have it on limited, your colors are going to look a bit like washed out on your monitor. And then Fortnite and how you configure your Fortnite in-game brightness and colorblind mode won't be very accurate. So definitely do that. And this will also translate to what viewers see, you know, maybe on their end, let's say that, you know, you're live streaming or you're recording a video or screen sharing, this will be the most accurate because most people are going to be using a full dynamic range and not limited. People used to argue that this changed your FPS. It literally does not change a thing. It's monitor technology. Of course, yeah, it can affect like input lag, but this isn't one of those things. Your colors are not going to change anything here because it's nothing more than like a bit of dynamic range. It's not like you're upping your black point or upping anything too major in that realm. But yeah, no, there actually are optimized monitor settings as well. So again, another one. Let me know down below if you guys want to see that. There's a lot of things that people don't talk about in terms of like monitor technology. I think I should cover that at some point. But yeah, copy that, copy this right here. And that's pretty much everything. Perfect, amazing. There you go. Best NVIDIA settings. You can do more advanced stuff. Actually, one last thing would you be your NVIDIA profile inspector. Actually, I've just lost it. But this is a whole nother application you will need to download. It's basically like an advanced, more advanced version with secret settings you won't get in your NVIDIA control panel. Um, I'm not going to go through these, but you can copy them. This is like a, yeah, I guess it's just a more advanced way of optimizing that no one really actually mentions or goes through that much. But yeah, this is another one copy pretty much everything and you will have to reference some of these sayings that I mentioned that may be different for you guys like threaded optimization but yeah there's like even more low latency stuff on here like uh ultra low latency and other stuff there and it's very important so you can pause the video copy some of these I wouldn't copy any of the other settings but like stereo SLI common and texture filtering anti-aliasing copy these copy all of these free source check out gear up in the description box and pin comment and tell me how low your pin can go in the comments